This is Jacob from Catch and Release NC, and we're reminding you to keep it realistic. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm over here at Deer Poach Park, and we're going to fish with the lipless crankbait real quick just to see if there are any large fish around. It's a cold, windy fall day. I'm looking for bass or other predators up here by the bank, by the boat ramp, willing to go for a shad. Or a shad imitator like this Strike King Red Eye Shad. I like to use a pull and pause, yo-yo kind of motion. Give the fish a chance to bite it. Break up that straight retrieve a little bit. Sometimes you can get your shad to flit off to the side. That looks natural. They do that a lot around here. The thread fin shad hit the surface in some kind of frenzy. I'm not seeing much going on out here. I'm a little concerned that the cold weather has the fish turned off. We're still out here trying though. You never know. Let's go try down by the log. Hi, I'm Magnus from Las Cruces, New Mexico, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Wow. Glad I didn't try to cast. That would have been a massive bird's nest. Wow, kind of cramped down here. Got all these bushes, got these bushes, the trees, but it's still one of my favorite spots. Let's try that again. That was better. Fish, fish on, oh, ho, ho, ho. tiny little bass here. A lot of hooks, gotta be careful. Look at that, I actually caught this bass in the mouth on the front hook. Now that's an aggressive little fish. Check it out. This little guy went for a half ounce Strike King Red Eye Shad. First fish of the evening. Jackknife. Let's keep going. For the past month, I've been catching those little tiny bass with the occasional half pounder. Really up and down. Really up and down.
I can also downsize. All right, one tiny bass so far. Let's try something else. This is a Texas rigged minnow. This is a Powerbait HD, but it's weightless. I'm using the weight of the hook and that's it. I gotta watch the line for this one. Ooh, I had a bite there. Skipjack, I think, chasing it down. Let's try again. I'm not burying the hook in the side, but I am laying it parallel to the side to hopefully avoid any snags that might be down there. The most controversial team to hit USWO Wrestling, it's Brian Turner of Booty Call, and you are watching Realistic Fishing. Bounce on over to Brian Turner's VHS Rehab for more of Booty Call. We're going to fish it on top real fast. Here we go. Oh, my reaction was so slow compared to how fast that bite was. Wow, did you see it? Let's keep trying. That is bananas. Well, I've had a couple of strikes on this. I can't seem to hook anything. Maybe we should go try it up top by the boat ramp. Man, it was exciting seeing those fish come up and smack it on top. Wow, he was down there again. He just, it's hard to hook him. He went for it. Did you see him? Several opportunities. Come on, I got to get one on a Texas rig. This is so crazy. Got one. Oh, it's a bass. I thought it was going to be a skipjack. It's a bass. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, it is a catch on the Texas rigged minnow. Another small bass. Not the skipjack I was going for. That's all right, though. Just a little guy here. Let's go try up there by the boat ramp before it gets too dark. Yeah, very subtle. Look at this rig. It's an EWG hook in a small plastic minnow, and that's it. I'm darting it across the top, twitch, twitch, pause, whatever I gotta do to shake things up. I got a couple of bites on it and caught one small bass so far. Let's try this side. fish what's up guys Joe here with chat cats fishing you are watching realistic fishing keep it realistic fish got it's a skipjack I got him on the Texas rig he's coming over here we're gonna lift him out awesome Skipjack on a Texas rig. I did it. Yes. That's two bass today and a skipjack. And wow, that is a nice skipjack. I'm guessing about 13 inches. Yeah, he wants to go home. Let's help him. 
awesome. Texas rig swim bait. Actually, this is probably more like a drop shot bait, but I'm using it in its traditional form as a swim bait, and I'm giving it all the action. It doesn't have any action on its own. So yeah, now I'm legitimately curious. What do you call this rig? Is this a weightless Texas rig? An EWG rig? A weightless, weedless rig? I don't even know, but it's working tonight. All right, one last chance down here for the weightless Texas rig, or whatever it is. Can we do it? Can we get a bonus fish? Wow, did you see that little skipjack go for it? Holy cow, that was one determined fish. Couldn't grab it though. <laughs> Had another bite. Notice that 13 inch skipjack didn't have a problem grabbing it. But these little 10 inchers, different story. Got him. There we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, hooked in the mouth, check it out. That is awesome. Here we go, skipjack number two tonight on that weightless Texas rig, EWG rig. I don't even know what to call it, but I'm having fun fishing it for these aggressive skipjack. What is going on guys? I'm Rush, this is Little Miss Rowdy, Ronda Rousey for Rush Forest Outdoors, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Always keep it realistic. Oh man, that one has flung my lure off. I think it may have landed in the water, I'm not sure, but I don't see it. So this is a perfect time to go. Let's check out my simple rig today. I'm using a spinning setup. This is a medium fast action setup here. Six pound test line, two uh, EWG hook. That's it. Well, and the HD power bait minnow, which is now gone after a few fish. Anyway, it was a great night. I caught a few skipjack. I caught a few bass. That's totally worth it to me. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.